These are the best highlights from the matchup between T1 and Team Liquid during the semifinals of the 2024 Esports World Cup. To impact. Yeah, so what happened with Ben TP bot last time? Yep, you can see a little bit of spare time for the Zeri, but now the engage comes through. Impact does have the Counter-Strike, has of course skilled that one. As Gumiushi able to come on over, does pick up the turret aggro. They need to try and get this kill. As Guma goes down low, there's <laughs> the flashes. Zenith Blade doesn't work, Core comes in. That is still first blood going over to Gumiushi, but can he keep himself alive? As Core JJ's got heal, he doesn't have the Ignite. Never mind, there's the General. And they even out the scoreline. And now Carrier, I don't know guys, I think he might be dead. He's kind of on the wrong side of the map and he's trying to run his way out. Zayus has to back, does have teleport ear. Carrier definitely gonna go down. A huge win here for TL, ultimately great flash of the Q by Impact to quite figure it out. And yes, lane sw swaps have been nerfed. It's not the right way to play the game, but you can hide your bottom lane in this matchup and make things really lopsided just like this as the buffer comes in from the arcane shift, but that means absolutely nothing. Core JJ able to get his way out as Carrier wants to try and get something started. Look at this, There APA. are so many minions here. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it's just another one for TPing, TL. TPing top as well, not gonna lose any of that top farm. Is going to be able to just leave. We'll be able to TP back to lane. Has a pretty big CS advantage himself. Yeah. Uh, once he catches this wave, so it's not all roses here for Team Liquid, but really great for the Zeri. And once that call finishes too, he's going to have so much gold as Umpty. Maybe a bit alone. Yeah. Even the shot fuse doing a fair bit of damage here to Ona, who does have mainly damage as the uh, Mega Inferno bomb comes in to flash forward from the APA, but it doesn't matter. Faker just sweeps up Umpty, puts him into the death chamber, and now T1 they have full control of these grubs. Yeah. A really tough fight to take there, unfortunately, as Umpty. Yes, you have the Ziggs back up there. The Emperor's divide in a choke point like that is going to be basically a guarantee. APA also using his flash means he's going to be more vulnerable once Faker gets that ultimate cooldown back. Carrier King in the fog of war. Baker Zayas coming over to get threaten back. that at the same time bottom there as, yeah, as you mentioned. Ooh. Okay, will Impact move up further than he should as they know Umpty is here as well as there's the Counter-Strike. They start this one off. Nature's Grass comes down. Glacial Prison comes in as well. Impact, the first one to be focused. The Permafrost comes in. Umpty not able to actually finish off the kill as APA. He turns up Mega Inferno Bomb and that's going to be the kill for the Ziggs. Ona looking to run away the short fuse. There's the Satchel Charge and he closes the distance and there goes the tree. Faker one versus three and even though these health bars are low. I don't know whether he's going to be able to take anything here if TL do decide to turn. And that is a great play from the North American representatives. Absolutely good at. It's utilizing these early spikes. They might be able to get something done. Unless Umpty has something to say about it as he moves towards the top side. There's going to be the special delivery. He's been tanking up this turret for such a long time. Grand entrance is what locks it down. And the TL flare pops up above Umpty as he walks his way out. It's another kill for the North American squares into this game to allow Yon to have a 20 CS advantage up against Gumiyushi. APA going to get thrown underneath the turret here, but Umpty is there to protect him. Doesn't land the ulti though. And down goes the Ziggs. I don't think Umpty's going to die here, but Core JJ finds himself on the wrong side of the map. Battle Dance gets himself out as Umpty comes on over and gives him a target to head towards. So it is just APA falling down, but it's T1 finding a bit more tempo here on this map. Yeah, I, I think APA getting a little bit of gre greed there because he knew Umpty was nearby, but Faker flashing the Arctic Assault there. They have enough damage. And that's going to be the dragon here going over to T1. It wasn't in the mid lane where he got punished on the Ziggs to this Emperor's Divide, but in fact in the... And they're just making faster rotations right now. T1 need to make something happen here in mid lane or this dragon may be lost. Well, Solar Flay is going to come on through, but it's Umpty. He's able to tank that one up very comfortably. Mega Inferno Bomb is massive and Ona just gets taken down. The Nature's Grasp finds absolutely nothing. Yeah, just used defensively there, but gets nothing back. Owner is dead and that should be... Team Liquid pushing ahead in terms of dragon control here. They had the control, they had Pryo, but they weren't happy with that. They wanted to pick, and they get yeah. it. Gumi Ishii looking for an opportunity here. It's called JJ. He finds it. The quickness was on, and Yon's going to take him down. Inner turret is going to be a prize as well, as Faker was on the inner turret, but Impact is there to get rid of him. Outer turret and dragon and two kills here for Team Liquid. They are on a tear. They are on a tear indeed. Massive lead in this game now. Second dragon goes to them. 
him. They get two kills mid. Top side of the map, the Azir is so incredibly powerful in these 5v5s if they do get to it, if they have the setup themselves to utilize Jace Poke, the range advantage that Gumiushi is going to have. But it's just the chaos that Team Liquid have been reveling in that's been working out. That one didn't quite so much, but it doesn't matter. Guma is just dead, and Zayas has to flash to get out of the way of the Mega Inferno Bomb. I loved, I like, I don't know what that ultimate was trying to do, but I'm so scared of Umpty right now that I trust that it was something that was very hey, important to getting that kill. I mean, on his time on Breon, Umpty was famous for great set 20 games where he didn't hit any ultimates. Yep. He's in a few of them this game. <laughs> He's in a few of them this game. The longer they spend time on the top side, they know owners here. He was spotted. APA is going to get some alone time with this turret. He's sitting on two items and an yeah. needlessly large rod. Korjay is threatening a die. Well, the uh, teleport's going to come out, so Korjay J not going to be able to utilize the quickness there, and he's just dead. And Emperor's Divide gonna pick him up. And the unkillable Demon King himself is... Wave kill clear and the safety yeah. that APA can uh, do it from. It's kind of insane. Okay, Faker's used his dash here. This is a scary moment for T1 to try to close the gap here, get through this choke point against Rakan. Ooh, this is dangerous. They're a little bit split. Still the four stack of T1. Four versus three if T1 do decide to pull the trigger. Is he over here? Topside. Mega Inferno Bomb going to help out. And Impact just puts down Zayas here. He says, I'm the better member of that team. As, of course, it's been a very long time since he was one. But still, with the help of APA, they're able to create a big advantage in their favor. T1 not wanting to allow that to happen. And Solar Flare isn't able to interrupt the Hexgate escape. And, and it'll be another Drake. They just don't see it coming. So thanks for the ultimate. Thanks for the dragon. Thanks for the kill on the top side. I'm winning in three places on the map is Team Liquid. And you look at the way this, this plays out for, for T1 over here. Carrier, you know, now down in ultimate, doesn't have flash here, but they are going to just try to rush it. Faker does so much damage to this Baron, but can they turn? Yeah, full information now goes over to TL and T1 are getting low, Mega Inferno Bomb connects onto three! And that's with no setup as well as the extended beam comes on down. Faker looks for Yanni, finds the flash, and gets the Zeri in the end. But Impact will be able to take down his ex teammate, Gumiushi, still trying to fire forward. And APA, he's basically an 80 carry himself, and he'll be able to take down the Ezreal. Three members of T1 left standing. Zayas, the last big damage threat, but I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. He's just going to be backing in this brush. APA, he's going to face check. Oh, the satchel charge is going to save the Ziggs with basically nothing. Yeah, there's those two thumbs up that we were expecting. And Zayas comes in, and he is going to be falling down. Leap Strike from Impact going to get that one done. And TL, I think they are in this game, but they're not going to be able to get out of the region. Meanwhile, over here, yeah, a little bit more of a fight as the Nature's Grabs comes on down. But look at the AoE damage coming out of this Ziggs with four items. Extend the beam to finish off Owner. And even our observers were surprised by the damage that that one did. Used to Maokai being a little bit more tanky than the damaged version that Owner is piloting this time around. And the dragon's going to go down. That's Hextech Soul. Triple stack Hextech to watch them play these ones out. It's a well-oiled machine that we're witnessing as they make the push towards these inhibitors now. There's another Glacial Prison. This one going to connect as Mega Inferno Bomb onto three once again. The quickness locks them down. And APA takes them out. It's a double kill as immediately it's the tanks, it's the front line, and they are removed from this battle completely. The bouncing bomb's impossible to avoid as they just keep raining down on top of T1. I say impossible to avoid. I mean, they can avoid them, but they're just not uh, that well. And he has about a half a second cooldown on that yeah. ability at the same time. So the Sun Disc, it's going to be removed. Two inhibitors down, waiting for some super minions to make their way in. The and Team Liquid, so I think impressive. they might just win it here. I think they will. They've got this cannon minion here, Baron empowered. Still 25 seconds left here. Looking to back away, Yun very low on HP. Just let the Ziggs do his work, and they're gonna ba bail out back out of this one. <laughs> so still hanging by a thread right with the Zeri Extendo Beam. It's just unreal. Is Carrier maybe he trying is. to bait something? I don't know where he's going. He's going on Walkabout Wolf, and he's going to get satcheled back into the entire enemy team, and he will buy some time before he inevitably falls. Yon's going to collect that kill as well, so another one. Standing, if T1 get their back stopped here, APA can just end the game, so 
T1 have really crossed their T's, dotted their I's, as that's hopeful Guma Yusi <laughs> with yeah. this true shot. As they're only going to leave two on Baron because Yun does so much damage while continuing to push these waves into the mid lane, stacking up super minions there. So there is just absolutely no way T1 can co come to Elder. It's essentially League of Legends checkmate here. T1, I think the fight that has to happen on the Elder or on their Nexus. And they have elected for the Elder. I'll start that one up as it spawns. They have positional advantage. Banana Brush control, but Umpty just walks on in. Does not mind about this one whatsoever. They're all inside the pit. It is an absolute Thunderdome, but the Elder is taken by T1. Is this an opportunity? Impact says absolutely not as they're getting torn to shreds. Carrier sliced down by the Zeri. And Team Liquid, they'll wipe T1 off the map and they'll be taking game one right now. Not a chance in this game. Start to finish. T1 don't get to play their proactive playstyle. They don't get to play the Leona into the Recon bottom 2v2. It was TL pulling the strings, the puppeteers of game one, start to finish, a beautiful game. These were some of the best highlights from the 2024 Esports World Cup semifinals matchup between T1 and Team Liquid. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.